Hello! In this tutorial, we're going to be learning all about compiling ES6. Now, if you're a JavaScript developer, ES6 is probably like um, the big thing. Everyone's like, ES6 is so cool, what are we going to do about ES6? If you're like 95% of most people, you have no idea how to actually use ES6. You've seen that it's cool, but you don't really know how. So in this tutorial, we're just going to have a look. We're going to prepare you to be an ES6 uh, Pro. Now, I should note at the beginning that this tutorial isn't going to cover um, modules, um, which is, um, well, it won't cover it in too much detail. That's enough for a whole other tutorial. So to begin, um, open up your text editor. I like to use brackets because brackets is cool. Me and brackets, you know, representing brackets. So make a new file and we're just going to just save this and we'll call it test.js. Now let's write some ES6. So we'll start and we'll just say um, let name equal John. Pretty fancy. Right there we've used the let uh, keyword, which is very similar to the ver keyword, but it has a different scope. However, this keyword is not in ES5. Now, if we were to just say console.log name, now if we open up our uh, terminal window, and let's type um, node test.js, we get an error unexpected identifier. Well, that's because Node doesn't understand the keyword let yet. Let is an ES6 keyword. So we have to compile this into a different language, ES5. So to do our compilation, we're going to be using Babel. Um, Babel is an ES6 transpiler. It's similar to Tracer. A lot of people use Tracer. I prefer Babel. I don't really know why. You're free to use either, but in this tutorial we're going to use Babel. Generally, Babel is easier to just get up and get going and compile your ES6. I don't know exactly why. So here we are at the Babel.js uh, website, babeljs.io. You can see they've got um, the fancy logo reminiscent of, I think that is uh, Double Dragon for the NES, possibly. Um, and you can see these guys are well supported. Um, they have a lot of support um, from the guys at Grunt, from Gulp. And uh, generally, this is a tool that we're going to use to compile our ES6. So the first lesson from this video is you want to use Babel. If there's further sort of things you want to learn, like there's something we don't cover about a specific ES6 things you want to do, you can visit the Babel website and check out, for example, uh, their docs section. So now we're going to install Babel on our machine. This is very simple. Uh, to do so, you're going to need to have a Node.js installed. I'm going to assume you do. If you don't, uh, just take a minute to install it right now. We'll wait. <laughs> okay, so everyone's computer has Node. Now we'll install Babel using npm. So type npm install dash g Babel. And NPM is going to do its thing, going to grab Babel uh, from far away um, off the internet, and it's going to install it. The G flag means it's global, so we'll just do this once, and you can use Babel uh, from the command line for all your projects. So now we have uh, Babel installed, and we can use it to compile our um, JavaScript. So I've opened up another terminal window here, since uh, the shell inside brackets won't demonstrate this next thing. Now, we can compile our um, ES6 into ES5 using Babel. So we can type, if we type Babel test.js, you can see here, here is the output. It looks a bit different than our original file, doesn't it? It has the word use strict um, which has been added, and basically all ES6 uh, is presumed to be in use strict. Um, as ES moves forward, use strict removes stuff like the with word, a whole lot of stuff you don't want to use. And you can see the word let has been um, changed to, um, 
to the word var. So this is now legal node. If we want to run this, we want to compile this to a file. So to do so, we can say babel test.js-o, the o flag meaning output, and we'll say, we'll just call this test um, es5.js. Now it's created a new, <laughs> a new uh, file and um, test es5. JS, and you can see here is our um, compiled ES5 file. If I type um, node test ES5.js, it says John. Hallelujah. So we have now compiled, hopefully, our first ES6 file to ES5. Um, so now in our test.js, we can have a whole lot of fun without learning anything else. We can use everything but uh, modules. So we can say var double equals n, and we'll write a fat arrow function here. And we can uh, compile that. And you can see it's turned my fat arrow into a function. Um, we can we could do this all day, but if you've gotten this far, you now know how to use Babel to compile your um, ES6. Now I've said this a few times, but um, modules are more confusing because, in brief, everyone sort of disagrees kind of about modules, like what the deal with them are. If you should use UMD, AMD, Common JS, obviously Common JS, and the various ones. So. Um, but consequently, modules are also a huge part of ES6. So you can't really say you know ES6 without knowing modules. Nonetheless, this was just a basic video on transpiling ES6. Using this and using Babel, you should be able to write any programs you want basically in ES6. Uh, if you want to use modules, you can, but it'll just take a bit more learning. Good luck!